Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2020 tutorial. Guys, this one, I'm going to show you how to get a depth of field or that sort of nice soft blurry look into this photograph and I'll show you how to do it in like 90 seconds or less. We're going to use the lens blur which has been adjusted a little bit inside Photoshop 2020 so let's just get in and dig in and get going. Uh, I've got a layer here selected. I've got a guy doing taking a photograph of him taking a photograph which is weird but whatever. Um, bottom line is guys the first thing you want to do is we want to well basically we want to make the trees in the background a little bit soft and blurry and we want him to be in focus. So the first step here is I want to go up to select and then I'm going to go up to select uh, pardon me, I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the layer. Yes, I am. So I'm going to go up to select and then I'm going to select subject. In this case, you'll see here it has drawn a pretty good looking, um, uh, pretty good looking uh, marching ants here, a little selection here around him. There are some changes I would recommend making. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll try and do this nice and quickly. I'm going to go over here to the lasso tool and I'm going to select L and boom, I've got my lasso. Now, if you just start doing lasso work, it's going to make a new selection. So what you have to do is you have to hold down the shift key. And now I'm going to lasso around this camera. And I didn't get it perfectly, as you can see, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, and maybe there. Okay, that's a little better. And the tip of this guy's hat, I'm going to add to it. Again, I am holding down the shift key. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. Normally I would do this with a with my iPad Pro, but um, I don't have it with me. So yeah, okay, so this is, again, you would probably want to then hold down the Alt key and then, sub, or pardon me, the Command or the Option key and start minusing out portions of this as well. But I'm not gonna show you how to do a mask, like, I mean, or, or how to draw a selection. That's another video that I've already done, pardon me. So there we go, we've got a decent selection here of this guy. Now let's get into the meat and the potatoes. All right, so the next step here is you want to go up Make sure you clicked on your layer. You want to go to filter, drop down to blur, and now we're going to go to lens blur. When you click on this, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. You're going to see that the um, the guy is, well, in my case, I've got it set up. So I'm going to do it. You'll see here that he is blurred out, but the background is not blurred out. Now, you would probably be not be seeing this because I've been messing around with the specular highlights. So... I'm going to do this a basic reset as to what you would see if this is your first time. So this is what you would see without any of my adjustments. Um, he has been blurred out. The background, eh, not so much. Um, the way you want to do this, you want, you want to fix this part of me, is you want to click on the invert button here. And then presto, bang. He is now in focus. And he is nicely focused on and everything else is a little blurry. Now, as you look over here, you're going to see a whole bunch of things. The ones that really matter, I think, are the radius. So depending on how much blur you want to put in there. So if you want to go like ultra blurry, like he's had 46 beers, okay, that's one. Or if you just want a very subtle, like maybe, I don't know, what are you thinking? 15, let's go with something like that. That's, yeah, that's about right. You can mess, let's go with 13, right? So it's a soft, so he's in focus. The, the background's a little softly blurred. Um, you can make changes to other things down here like uh, brightness and threshold. So if you want to uh, under specular highlights, so if you want to like um, put some some nice little finishing touches in that, you can also do that. But again, I don't want to go way down that rabbit hole. This this technique alone, you could probably do in about 90 seconds if I, <laughs> if you start front to back on it. And that's it, guys. This guy's out of focus. He's in focus. The background's nice and soft. You've got a depth of flur, uh, depth of field. That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I got a lot more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.